The Myasara is a herbivorous duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous, about 86 million years ago to 70 million years ago. It lived in North America, in what is now Montana. It lived alongside dinosaurs like the basal ornithopod Orodromius, the feathered dromaeosaur Bambiraptor, and the apex predator, the tyrannosaurid Daspletosaurus. The Myasara lived in huge herds that could grow to have 10,000 members. Despite it not having defense mechanisms like ceratopsids, ankylosaurids, or stegosaurids, the large number of animals most likely helped defend against predators. But it's not like it was helpless if it was alone. It could grow up to be 9 meters long and weigh about 3,500 kilograms. It could definitely defend itself with kicks, stumps, or whacking predators with its tail. Evidence in the animal's coprolites, the fossilized shit, the fossilized poop, shows that the Myasara ate a lot of rotten bark, which might have been its only source of food in the harsh, dry season. The Myasara also displayed sexual dimorphism which is the phenomenon in which one sex of the animal has a difference from the other sex, with one of Myasara's sexes being 40% larger than the other. However, it is unclear if the males were bigger or the females were bigger, because we can't really tell which fossils belong to which sex. The Myasara was a pretty important discovery in the history of paleontology. It was discovered in 1979 by Laurie Turksler, and then later described by Robert McKella and Jack Horner. Yeah, believe it or not, before Jack Horner went insane, he actually did some important work for paleontology. The name Myasara means the good mother lizard, and for good reason. The Myasara was the first real evidence of dinosaur parenting behavior. Giant herds consisting of members of all ages have been found. Myasara lived and raised their young in huge raising colonies, similar to those of modern seabirds. Myasara nests were made of soil and contained from 30 to 40 eggs arranged in a circular pattern. The eggs are comparable to ostrich eggs in size. Rather than sitting on the nest for incubation like other dinosaurs would do, Myasara puts leaves and other foliage on top of the eggs. The evidence of parenting comes from the children themselves. Myasara's hatchlings fossils suggest that their legs were not developed enough to walk, yet their teeth showed signs of wear, meaning they ate. But without being able to walk, how did they get their food? Well, they didn't. The parents brought the food for them. This is the main piece of evidence of parental behavior on these animals. Mom, is that you? Damn it. Baby Mayasara had different anatomical features from their parents. Most notably, they had bigger eyes and shorter snouts. Some researchers believe that the distinctly different appearance of Myasara babies is what triggered the Myasara parents to care for them. With the help and care from the parents, baby Myasara would grow from 41 centimeters long to 147 in only their first year. The fast growth rate of these animals is potential evidence that these were warm-blooded dinosaurs. However, even with amazing parents, the Myasara babies were extremely vulnerable and fragile with only about 10% surviving to their second year. This explains why the mother lays so many eggs. She's just making sure that at least some survive. Without the discovery of the Mayasara, movies and shows would not show dinosaurs as the caring, vengeful parents that we see in modern media, but perhaps they would depict dinosaurs as bad parents who abandon their young. The Mayasara is certainly an interesting and important find for the fossil record. It shows how some, if not most, dinosaurs were in fact caring parents. So, I guess the most important takeaway from this video is that your parents are hard workers, so go hug them.